Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to start the new series on this channel which is called the UiPath Document Understanding. I know this has been a long waiting topic for all of us since we were already covering the UiPath Modern Design which itself was a huge topic so we parked the document understanding for a while. Now that we have almost completed the UiPath Modern Design experiences it would be good time to start with something which is called UiPath Document Understanding. In this series, I would be trying to make you understand the document understanding in a step by step manner, which is absolutely made for beginners. In case you have no idea about document understanding, you can get started with this series and learn along with me. We will not directly jump to the technicals directly creating the projects and all right. We will go in a step by step manner. So it is easy that to understand what exactly is this technology why do we require it right today this is our agenda before directly jumping to the document understanding as a developer it is important to realize that why this technology even is required right why there is a need for document understanding so for that this would be our agenda we are going to start with introduction what are the different type of documents what is the difference between a rule versus a model based extraction? What is an OCR, right? You might have heard it in the previous, but I'm going to focus on this. Then we are going to jump to something that what is document understanding. And then we are also going to see a brief steps in the framework. Okay. So this would be our agenda today. Nothing practical. Okay. Let's start with something. What exactly is a document? So a document is a form of information stored used in shared across different users right so if i want to share some information to you i share it a help of a document it can be a pdf it can be a word so it is a piece of information which is saved and which can be retrieved later so that is the plain document uh, definition of a document now if you see it where do we use documents we use it for the business person such as law media education government offices right there is a lot of work which happen with the help of documents. So the step one is first thing, what is a document? A document is a piece of information which is stored so that it can be retrieved later. That is the plain information of documents. Now, when we talk about the documents, not all the documents are exactly of the same type. So we classify documents into three types, structured, semi-structured and unstructured. We'll talk about the examples, but first let's try to understand the difference. Whenever I say structured, it is having a fixed format. Nothing changes. All the users has to fill the information in a specific area. A simple example could be the surveys, right? So we all fill surveys. So the idea here of the survey is all the people get the same type of form. All the people get the same type of documents. They ask your name, your company, your age and some more information for some survey. So I can say that survey has a fixed format and all the users has to fill the information in the same area. Okay. And the way you can think it technically, it is a key value format, which means that for every key, there is a value. Name is equal to Mukesh. Country is equal to India. Right. So it works on a key value format. Some example of the structured documents are survey, questionnaire, registration form, right? When we have to register somebody, passports, right? So we have as a country in India, we have all the passports and that all are exactly in the same format. So what is the definition of structured? Wherever you have some precise format, user has to specifically fill the details. Fixed format always, we call them as a structured document, right? So I have given you the definition of structured. Assignment for you is you have to pause the video and give me some example of structured document what comes to your mind. Okay, I'll wait for your comments. Let's move to the next one, which is the semi structured. So structured was perfectly structured. Semi structured means does not follow a struct format. It can be changed, but it has a common format enough. It also says that sometime it can contain paragraph and may or may not contain the key value pair in the structure. We talk about that. Yes, it is always a key value pair. 
वेर एज इन द सेमा स्ट्रक्चर इट मे और मे नॉट कंटेन अ की वैल्यू पेयर सम एग्जाम्पल्स आर इन वॉइसेस रिसीट्स परचेज ऑर्डर बैंक स्टेटमेंट यूटिलिटी बिल्स राइट सो जस्ट टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द इन वॉइसेस सो वी हैव एन इन वॉइस विच इज कमिंग फ्रॉम टू कंपनीज राइट सो द लुक एंड फील कैन बी स्ट्रक्चर्ड बट सम डे द सम इन वॉइसेस माइट हैव सम एडिशनल इन्फॉर्मेशन और लेट्स ए देर इज अ कंपनी ए एंड देर इज अ कंपनी बी बोथ द इन वॉइसेस हैव सेम सेट ऑफ डेटा बट द फॉर्मेट कैन बी डिफरेंट राइट सो द सेम इन्फॉर्मेशन लेट से द इन्फॉर्मेशन इन द इन वॉइस इज नेम एड्रेस एंड द आइटम्स इन वॉइस बी ऑल्सो हैज नेम एड्रेस एंड द आइटम्स बट द डिफरेंस इज सिंस दे आर कमिंग फ्रॉम टू कंपनीज बोथ ऑफ देम हैज द डिफरेंट फॉर्मेट इन्फॉर्मेशन इज सेम but the format is different so i can say that all such kinds of documents are treated as a semi structured document which has a strict format but it can change and sometime it also contains a paragraph it may or may not have the key value format like the way you have in the structured and examples are invoices receipts bank statement which we receive from the bank like credit card bills and all right utility bills now that is structured versus semi structured okay there is a thin line of difference between structured and semi structured i hope you guys understand and if that is the case give me one example of the semi structured document as well okay the third category of documents is the unstructured document as the name suggest unstructured information is not organized in a clear and a structured manner okay you might have the key value but you always have a free text and paragraph so for example i give you a report i give a news i give you an article i give you a contract right which is having the information but this information is not in a fixed format it is in a form of paragraph it is in a form of text right examples contract report lease annual report news so three category of documents structured semi structured and unstructured right if you understand just give me example of each one so that it will clarify your understanding okay sometime you might have document which is combination of all the three which means that the first part of the document can be structured the second page can be structured however the third page is unstructured right so whenever we say that okay i am classifying this document as structured semi structured unstructured that is fine but we have to also keep in mind that i can have document which can be combination of structured semi structured and unstructured okay so just keep in mind that as well so till this point we have seen what is a document what are the different kinds of documents we can have and some of the examples okay let's move forward and try to see some of the common type of documents which we discussed here right so the first one was the structured document which is also known as the forms or the low diversity documents as the format is very much precise so forms and the low diversity documents are kind of documents which try to collect the information in a precise format you could see a form here which is 990 pf form right so if somebody has to apply for a pf they have to fill the form name of the foundation name street city check boxes this format is exactly the same if there are 10 person who have to fill the form the form is exactly the same right same definition which we discussed the structured also known as the low diversity documents they come in fixed format and are generally called forms now these forms whatever we have this information this can contain handwritten text printed text type text sorry this can have signature this can have check boxes but the thing to remember here is all of this is coming in a key value pair right so if you see for the column g where it says that check all that apply if i click on the initial return that means that initial return is the key and the value i say is yes if i tick it is yes if i don't tick it it's a no right example already discussed the same thing mentioned here as well okay so this was a quick diagram of the low diversity or the forms structured document so that you can relate to 
Next, we talk about the semi-structured document. How does it look like? Semi-structured document, as you can see here, this is an invoice from one of the company called your sales company something something, right? Now, it has information such as the name, street address, all this information available. However, tomorrow, there is one more company who is sending me the same invoice with the same data, but their format might be different. This invoice and date might be written on the right hand side. This bill to and shift to might shift their position, right? The order of the total total due might be different, right? The way the products are described might be different, right? So semi-structured are the document that do not follow a strict, uh, strict format, but the data is more or less the same. They don't have the fixed format, but follow a common enough format we can say. They sometime might contain a fixed paragraph and can contain a table also. Examples, invoice, receipts, purchase bill, bank statement, utility bills, right? Some structured document example. The third one is a unstructured document. As you can see, this is a example and a screenshot of an agreement, right? Which is between a sales and a purchase. Some of the data is having a key value pair, but the format is not fixed. Meaning that in this agreement, you can see I only have four clauses, one, two, three, four, and then point number A and B. I can have a different agreement where these clauses can be more, the clauses can be less. I can have more information, more clauses in point number three, point number four, right? So it's extremely unstructured. And unstructured documents are something which are easily read by the human beings, right? Because as a human, we can understand it. Now, since we are talking about the unstructured data, I just quickly want to give one, one additional information that UiPath has a new technology or I would say new addition to its product suite, which is called the communication mining, which has the capability to go read the emails, read the chats, go to the support tickets. So wherever there is a reading and organizing of the unstructured data, UiPath has got one more thing, which is called the communication mining where it is able to extract the information from your communication. It's an email, chat conversations, right? So feel free to explore the communication mining as well, which is not a scope of this one, but I just wanted to give you that information as well. Okay. Coming back to unstructured document, some example could be contract, lease, annual agreements, and the news. Okay. So these were the three kinds of documents which we can have and the examples. Okay. Okay, so now let's talk about something else. How do we extract the data? We understand what is document, what are the different kinds of data. Now let's say I am presented with all these different kind of documents and now we have to extract the information. How would we do that, right? So if you see here, I have two forms which are available. This is from uh, registration form, right? So you can see here the first candidate is Mukesh Kala. He has included his email address and the phone number. The second candidate is John, uh, his email address and his phone number. So these two are exactly the same thing, right? If you see here, so if you see here, both of them are exactly the same. So if I have to write a bot or if I have to write a code in other words to extract the information I can simply say that wherever you find your name just read the information after it wherever you find this statement which says include email address here read that statement wherever you find your phone number read that phone and you would be able to extract this information so I have a rule right I have a rule which is look for your name look for phone number so whenever you have some kind of rules, that is called a rule-based data extraction. Now rule-based data extraction is mostly reliable when you have data in this format, which is structured. It works on the patterns and is applied to structured document as it makes sense, right? What other technologies and we think use? We can use something which is called string manipulation. We can use something which is called rejects based, right? In case you guys are new to string manipulation, I have recently uploaded a dedicated video where I'm explaining string manipulation in a step by step manner. Please do watch the string manipulation, get some understanding because that will help you to work whenever you have the rule based data extractions. Okay. Coming back to rule based data extraction. So I hope you guys understand what is rule based data extraction. So next in the upcoming videos, whenever you hear something like, okay, now this is a rule base, right? You should be aware of that. Yes, it is rule based, which means that the format is same and we are applying some set of rules applies to the structured document. Okay. Now, what are the challenges with the rule based? 
this seems pretty easy right we have the same format i can do it easily by just reading the data doing some string manipulation and i'll be able to do it what is the challenge now if you see here what i have done is event form is same however we have just replaced the words so instead of your name it says insert your name instead of saying include email address here it just say email address here it was your phone number and here it says reachable at the other thing is you will also notice that the order of the input is also changed now if i would have written a rule based extraction it would broke right it will tell me hey mukesh you told me that to look for the phone number but here it is something which is reachable at you told me to follow this rule and i am looking it for the second position now it is at the third position so the challenges with the rule based data extraction is that a slight change in the format mess up your automation right and it is closely tied to the document layout any change in the layout can break your automation and would re require you to do the configuration and that is the challenge of rule based it only works when the document is structured what is the solution the solution is use a machine learning extractor right so the previous one was the data extraction which was using the rule based solution to that is use something which is called a machine learning where it is an intelligent way of extracting the data it would require you a pre trained ml model and it would require a training now it sound very easy right okay go ahead and use a machine learning language to extract that information if the rule base is not working but if you see the challenge it requires time and expertise to develop an ml skill right we have to write the ml skill from scratch it's easy to say that okay just use a machine learning language right but where is the machine learning language who will train that who will write it right so this is the challenge but at a higher level you have widely classified it into two categories of data extraction one is the rule based and the model based so whenever i say rule based i simply means that it is just extracting with the help of regex fixed format and then when i say model based it means that it is a machine learning based model where you can also use to extract the information okay so till this point we have discussed two things what is a document what are the different kinds of documents you can have and how based on the type of data which you see you can decide whether i have to go for a rule based extraction or whether i have to go for a model based extractions okay now hold that information for a while and let me now introduce you to something which is called ocr right what exactly is a ocr when i say ocr it simply means optical character recognition now it means that it gives you the capability to read the data behind the images to take a simple example if you see here on the screen i have something which is called a scanned book right so there is a book which i have scanned and this is the photo of that book now if you try to just do a control c control v you won't be able to do it because it's an image right so now to read the data from the images we have a technology which is called the ocr optical character recognition now how does this technology work this technology will scan this entire screen of the machine find all the characters that are displayed and then it will try to recognize those characters recognize its position and then it would be able to interpret so in simple terms if i have to read data from images or in other words try to see it like that when you have to do a virtual machine automation where you are not getting access to the direct element right so we can use some kind of ocr engines so ocr is a method to read the data from the images in other word you can think it of a scanned pdf right where you do not have direct access of copying it right example is on the screenshot right so why i am telling you that i need an ocr because as we have defined right documents can be of different different types structured some are structured and structured however the documents can be a native or document can be a scanned right so when i say native yes you can just read it by just using read pdf but if it is a scanned pdf then i would need an additional technology and that additional technology is called ocr right and as you can see in the block i have mentioned digitize and obtain the text right 
before i even give it to some robot or to some engine to understand right first we need to read this data and to read this data from a scanned pdf or kind of a photos i would also always require something which is called the ocr in other terms also known as optical character recognition ocr there are different different ocr engines which are available in market depending on scenario you can use any one of those okay now with all these information till this point let's try to define the document understanding right what is document understanding okay so document understanding is the capability to extract the information and interpret the information when i say interpret to understand what this information mean and from a wide range of documents type it can be images it can be pdf handwritten signature check boxes logo right so if i ask you what is a document understanding the answer is document understanding is a capability to extract the information from a wide range of documents structured unstructured semi structured handwritten scanned pdf check boxes logos right so if i have documents now i have you guys understand when i say documents i have to extract the information from the documents i am going to use something which is called document understanding documents could be images pdf handwritten check box logos anything right now if you see the diagram which shows three things rpa ai and document understanding right so i have to process the documents i have to extract the information so i definitely need something for document processing but as i as we have seen right this information can be a uh, text based rule based or this can be a model based so if i have to write some model machine learning model definitely i need to use something which is the ai technology that's why we also need artificial intelligence okay now these documents can be embedded in an email these can be inside sharepoint these can be inside some shared location which we have to copy paste so that means there is a mundane repetitive task which we have to do and for that we have something which is called rpa robotic process automation example ui part tool which we have all have been learning on right so if i combine the capabilities of rpa ai document understanding all this combined together we would reach something which is called the document understanding and that's why this diagram signifies where does document understanding sit in between right so this is the definition of document understanding i hope you guys understood this definition if that is the case and you are now clear that what is document what is document understanding please do comment document understanding so that i understand that yes we all are on the same page okay i'll wait for your comments and the last slide for today is i want to talk about what are the challenges document understanding is solving right so we understand that yes we have documents we have all of that but what are the problems which this technology is solving right there should be some problems the first one is on the left hand side you have the problems and then you have the solution there is always a task or a problem of manually extracting interpreting and taking the action if i have get if i have 1000 documents i have to extract interpret and take some action on the documents delegate all these tasks to the robots when i say robots i mean the ui path robots using ai to understand the problem they will help you to extract the information interpret and also take the action robots solve the problem the second thing is the documents can be of different different types structured semi structured unstructured some can be low quality some can be scanned pdf how can document understanding help automated automatic processing using classification so as we have seen document understanding can work on varied different kinds of i would say documents it also has a capability to classify the documents as per its type so it can say that hey this is a passport this is a receipt this is an invoice right so the classification is already done by ui path document understanding and it can handle the low quality images as well the third problem increased cost and time consumer time consumption if you are doing it manually it takes a lot of time right and then you always need somebody to validate 
UI per document understanding has something which is called humans in the loop action center while the robot handle all these processing and all sometimes the robot feel that hey I am not sure what I am doing can you help me yes we can always include human in the loops so that the robot get the correct inputs right this reduce the chances of the errors rework and ultimately saving times and cost now the fourth problem human work varies rework incurring additional cost right so if a human is doing it the work might vary from you and me when we talk about the uipa document understanding it is fast it is a time efficient the robots has got more speed the document understanding techniques ensure faster and reliable document understanding minimizing the variation in the human work and lastly most of the solutions which are available for the document understanding are partial and not end to end which means that they are only doing one part of the automation but when i see the ui path document understanding as a process level robots are fast accurate they can aim to come completely automate the solution and no, not just the document understanding part to give the same example let's say there is a human user who is daily going to the email reading 10 emails downloading the document putting into a drive opening it copy pasting the data and then doing something something right so we are not only talking about processing of the document we are also talking about the complete end to end automations right so ui part document understanding solves all of these problems for you right so i hope now you guys have a clear understanding of what is document understanding why we are doing it and why it is important and interesting as well okay so that is all for this video i have only this thing which i wanted to cover let's take a quick recap so we have seen that a document a document is a place where we can store information it can be of structured semi structured and unstructured we have seen the examples of structured semi structured and unstructured then we have seen that if i have to extract the information based on the thing i can have a rule based extraction what are the challenges and then to fix that we require something which is called model based extraction which requires an ml skill right then we also talked about a little bit about the ocr why it is important why do we require ocrs and then we have seen that what is a document understanding right that it is a capability to extract and interpret information from varied different types and lastly we discussed about what are the challenges which du is trying to solve right at any point of time if you want to revisit the slide you can just go to any of the video pause the video there and read about this right so that it is for this video about introduction to document understanding so i hope this is helpful i'll appreciate your feedback on this video any more feedbacks any more comments feel free to write me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well so with that thank you for watching and happy automation mm -hmm.